Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the money challenges that I've been doing, the Tuesday challenge and the penny challenge, and let you guys know that I flubbed up. Fourth of July came around, which was the first Tuesday of this month, so I should have paid the $4, and life happens, holiday happens, then you got work, so on and so forth. I ended up missing two weeks. I didn't pay into either challenge for two weeks and it totally put me behind. I'm just about caught up this next, cause today's Sunday. So this coming Tuesday, I should be caught up. And um, so I thought I would make a video today to show you how much I have saved versus how much I should have that kind of thing. And um, by Tuesday, I should be caught up all the way around. And there's a couple ideas that I came up with while I was trying to dig myself out of this to share with you guys on different ways that you can maybe still follow these challenges without falling behind. Because I'm noticing I'm doing two challenges, the penny challenge and then a Tuesday challenge. And so I'm noticing middle of the month to the end, it's... A bit of a challenge for me to come up with that money and still pay my finances. So this is a good idea anyway for these different ways that I'm going to be doing it. Um, I think I'm going to do it for the month of August. So anyways, what happened is, is like I said, I went a couple weeks without paying into either the money, the penny challenge or the Tuesday challenge. And so when I decided to sit down and catch myself up, it took me a little bit to do so. Um, so what I did was I added up, um, here is July. If you can see July, there was the 4th, the 11th, the 18th, and the 25th. So the check marks are the ones that I've paid. So I still owe the $18 and the $4, which is a total of $22 left that I have to pay for this month and I'll be able to do that on Tuesday. But what I did is I added these four numbers up and it came to 58. So then I divided that by four for Tuesdays, which came to 1450 a week. And I think I'm going to do that for the month of August because at the beginning of August, it's going to be more to pay into the first couple Tuesdays of the month, but then towards the end, when at least in my situation with my finances, is when I'm trying to get money together to pay my bills. So it's gonna make things a little bit easier to only come up with a smaller amount, maybe half. I haven't even looked to see what the days of would fall on in August, but it's I think it's gonna be easier. So anyway, um, I ended up paying the 25 and the 11 to catch myself up. And so I'm gonna just add the four and 18 together, which would be $22 that I'll be paying this Tuesday. And then thank goodness I'll be caught up. But so that's one thing you can do is add up your days of the month, divide it by four, or maybe if you're lucky and you've picked a day that is four of, or excuse me, five of those days per month, then you can divide it by five and just pay that amount per week to kind of help out with your finances along the way. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do for August. And hopefully I won't, I'll remember, um, because it was my fault. It's not finances or anything. It was just my fault. I forgot about it, I have stuff to do, life happens. So anyway, I was gonna count with you guys today to show you what I have saved in my Tuesday challenge and my penny challenges. So um, yeah, stay tuned and let's get to counting. I should have in my jar $310 and I started this in March. So from March to now, July, I should have $310 in my Tuesday challenge. Here's my jar. So let's get to count. All right, so there's the cash. Let's get to count. So I should have $310. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 
70, 75, 80, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. There's $300 right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I do have three hundred and ten dollars in my Tuesday challenge. March first to July twenty third, I have three hundred and ten dollars. And when I do catch myself up on Tuesday, I should then have three hundred and thirty two dollars in my Tuesday challenge jar. That's pretty good. We'll pop all this money back in this jar. Okay, so my penny challenge, I am caught up to date with the penny challenge. And I am into it more than 100 days. So now it's a dollar and some change a day. So that's also what's making it challenging is I'm paying into the penny challenge and then my Tuesday challenge. And then when I forgot and time went on and I wasn't paying into either one of these challenges, it really caught up with me. Um, so yeah, cause I'm at a dollar and 40 some cents a day. Um, and I, last time I paid, I paid it up to the 18th and then I had to go back to work. So I haven't paid into this anymore, but according to my schedule here that I have going on, cause like I've said in the past, the red squares mean that I've paid that. Um, so I should have $98 and 70, 70 cents in my penny challenge, plus the extra five cents that I started with to round it all up in the end. So I should have a total of $98 and 75 cents. So let's see if that's what I have in my penny challenge jar right here. I have $2.63 in change, so somewhere I screwed up in my math when I was trying to catch myself up, but I'm going to have to work on that. Maybe I'll recount. I got dimes here. So there's 10, 20, 5, there's 60, 63 cents. And then whatever money here. So, so I don't forget, I'm going to write 63 cents, $2 and 63 cents. And then I'm going to count the rest. 20, 40, 60. I think I screwed up here. 65, 70, 75, 80, 83, 84, 85. 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 95, 96, 97, 63, and I should have 98, 70. So I messed up when I was trying to catch this up. See what happens when you fall behind? So I'm going to do the math here. It shouldn't be that much. I'm missing a dollar and 12 cents. So it's not that much money. I can 
go to my wallet and pay it. This is what happens when you skip, you let too much time go by, and then you're trying to make change and pay into it. So it's really important not to fall behind if you want to stay on top of this. Um, and again, I didn't do it. I didn't skip because I was behind on finances or anything. I just, I totally forgot about it. But so I'm going to write that down. So after this video, I can pay my dollar and 12 cents. So when I set up this uh, schedule for the penny challenge, one of the things I should have been following is off to the side here when I have this total and then the amount, that's the amount that you would pay per week. So instead of like, I'm kind of doing it half week because of my work schedule and the way things work for me, it's easier for me just to maybe pay five days and then three days or whatever. But um, I have it set up in seven days in little chunks here. So, uh, you know, so it's nine, 9.31 for that week and then 9.80 for the following week. So had I been doing it like that, I probably wouldn't have fallen behind and it wouldn't have been such a mess. But anyways, you know, no one's perfect, but I am saving money. So total, I have, you know, 400, basically $400 saved since March with these two challenges. So um, I hope some of my suggestions helped you guys if you are struggling to keep up with your challenges, especially if you're doing more than one. Um, the penny challenge, it gets harder to do as time goes by because the amount gets bigger. And then if you're doing another challenge on top of that and then you fall behind, yeah, it, it could be a mess. Um, that I messed up, but I'm catching up and I'm saving money and I hope you guys are saving money too. And let me know in the comments what day of the week or, or month, excuse me, are you saving money? And, um, how much money have you saved? So anyways, until next time, I'll see you back here on Survive With What You Know. Have a good day. Bye.